ceilings. Hello, oh. Andrew. Wow. What a voice. What a <laughs> voice. All right. Try not to steal your, your intro. Uh, try not to. So we're back to our... Uh, this is so nice. <laughs> Being doofy. And so between you and Mark, I'm never going to have my own show back. Nope. Uh, people are just stealing. Absolutely not. This is great. Hey, we're on Seeds. We're on Seeds. Seeds has kind of switched a little bit to now like more of a mill in the middle thing or somewhere. I'm asking you questions. <laughs> Minus the middle. That's right. Right. This is kind of like... In the mill. Summer in the middle. Right? Um... I think it's always been you asking me questions. It pretty much always yeah, has been me asking questions. We have talked, man, we've been talking a lot. We've been talking about a lot of different things. So many down things. Here, right? Uh, we've got lots of places to go with the basics. The funny about the basics is they never stop being the basics and they just keep <laughs> growing, right? Yeah. Um, and again, even when you start trying to make it complex, you can bring it back down to the basics, right? So there's a saying out there care, but don't care, mm-hmm. right? Kind of ranks up there with sorry, but not sorry. Yeah. Right? So when you hear the phrase, I care, but don't care. Yeah. Right? What does that mean to you? Define that to me. What, what is it that you hear, see, think when, you, uh, when that phrase comes up? So for me, it's like how I deal with people. Mm-hmm. How you deal with people. Is, is care, That's but don't care. Already somebody's like... Yeah, I knew it. You? You're not a real Christian. It. Yeah, she doesn't like people. I knew it. <laughs> so I didn't we, say love, but don't love. I say care, but don't care. Well, it's okay, so unpack that before yes. a bunch of people just turned us off. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> there you go. There it's you true. Go. I that, really don't. You just defined it. I really don't. Um, no, I think it's exactly what God tells us to do. Mm-hmm. Like, we have to love people, so that's how I care, right? Yeah. I do, I care if you go to hell. Yep. Okay. Uh, I don't care what you think. Yeah. I don't care. And God explicitly tells us that. He says it's a sin. Mm-hmm. He tells us it's a sin to to care more about what people think or what man thinks than what he thinks, right? And really, that's what happens when I care that much about what you think is I'm putting it before what I should really do. Mm-hmm. So, so I don't care. So we were talking about this kind of in conjunction with our platform nightly nonsense stuff, right? Mm-hmm. And and one of the things that I was giving as an illustration is like what happens when you're standing on the stage, right? And you say what God wants you to say mm-hmm. and there's zero reaction response from the crowd. Yeah. Right? Like um, like you said, like imagine getting to the end of a Broadway show and the last line is said, and the, and the, the first actor and actresses come out to take their bow, and nobody's responding Yeah. in the crowd. They're just sitting there. How would that play? Like, are we willing to do that? Well, that's, you know, the world <clears throat> defines that, you know, the world defines your level of success by that reaction. Yeah. Right? They said the play is a flop. Yep. Right? In... The Christian world, it's supposed to be the opposite. It is not supposed to be based on the reaction of people. It's supposed to be based on the the reaction of God, right? Mm-hmm. Like, it's not it's not about always what you see, mm-hmm. right? Like, pretty much all of this walk is not what we see. So it's possible that the reverse of that could happen as well, that the crowd could be going wild. Mm-hmm. And God saying, yeah, this wasn't a me thing. Yeah, no thanks. And we've right. talked about that a lot, too. Yeah, you just sinned. Good thing they're happy. So how... Happy how, on their way to hell. How do we negotiate through? Because most most people you don't. only get to a place of not being able to care by hardening their heart. It, yes, I mean, it's yep. just what we do. No, that's true. Right? So how do we not harden our... Like, listen, Jesus Jesus had to get to this point where he, he's like, sorry, but not sorry. I care, but I, yeah. but I don't care. Like, right. He had all these people wanting him to be the the great king riding in Messiah, Mm -hmm. you know, that just took over the world. He had all the ability to do that. Yeah. But he had to look at them and say, I only do what my father said. I care, but I don't care. Well, that's it. Jesus didn't negotiate. You don't negotiate. There's a period. It's the same as every other thing. You don't figure it out. You can't figure it out. You will hate people. Mm -hmm. You can't do it. Care but don't care does make, makes no human sense. Yeah, no it, zero. It doesn't because you let people down, uh-huh. and then, and they're looking for you to have some kind of compassion yeah. for the fact that you like they invite you to your to your, their wedding, their party, their whatever it is, their mm-hmm. their kid's first birthday, whatever. Yeah. And they and you say, uh, sorry, I can't come. Yeah. And they have they have no ability 
to be able to process why you wouldn't come to the thing. God would never tell you not to do that. Right, so God would never tell you not to go to church. God would never tell you not to do this good thing. God would never, 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 never. That's what I'm saying. There's no negotiation. <laughs> you don't have to negotiate. You just actually have to love God. So you you have run into this recently quite a bit because you have been on this, I'm going to ask God where I can be. What I should do, what, what I should, should say, do when I can things. be there, right? Yeah. But that's brought up some pretty awkward yeah. times when yeah. even down here, you, you've you had to say in the morning, I'm not coming today, right? Yep. How do you do that when you, when you love people and you don't want to let them down? So for the people pleaser like me, how do you do that? I mean, at first you can explain to people because obviously like, you know, we're not all born that way. I haven't always been that way. I've just always done whatever I wanted, right? I made my schedule and it's good. Um, so when you switch to that, right. cause some upheaval sometimes, um, and you just have to tell people the, the truth and the reason. The reason is, I love God, and I mean, the truth is I love Him more than you. Like, And you don't have to say it like that, but like if you explain, like, here's what I'm doing, and here's why. Like, it's not about you. It's not personal. It's not anything. Like, maybe it would be bad if I came today. Yeah. Maybe I would hurt you. Maybe you'd get hurt if I came today. I don't really know the reason. All I know is God knows better than we do. So here's why I'm doing this. But you don't keep explaining it. You just, don't keep justifying yourself. You don't keep caring what the person thinks. You know, if they can't get it, then they might have to pray and figure out why. There's a block. Because they should say, they should be convicted by that and say, wow, you know what? I should be doing that too. Right? So, so somehow, yeah, absolutely. Somehow caring is... Listen, I mean, if for me to care but not care, one of the secrets it seems to me is I've got to get past the whole why thing. i got to trust God. Right. And know that I might not never ever know why I don't go to this, why I don't go to church that day. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. like, I trust him that it's better that way. Like, for whatever the reason is, I trust him that it's better that way. It, it doesn't... It is about loving people, right? Because you're not doing what you want or what they want. And it's that whole, you know, parent doing what's best for you thing. Yeah. It's like, I love God enough to trust him that he knows what's best for you today. Not I know what's best for you today. Me coming to visit you might not be what's best for you today. Right. So sometimes caring about people means I can't make them happy. Yeah. Right. So sometimes the care, I, I don't care, is really the idea that I know you want me to make you happy, but I, I, I can't. Mm -hmm. So I have to come across as if I don't care, right? Sometimes this whole thing is more of how you come across. You, right. You care, That's what I'm saying. You still have to act in don't. love. Yeah. But you're not compromising. You cannot compromise because, I mean, the Bible makes it very clear. Like, our emotions are the devil. Yeah. I mean, our emotions are what cause all problems. Yeah. Emotions and feelings, right? Yeah. So as soon as we let people's feelings dictate anything yep. even an opinion that we make of them it's just wrong yep. like it's just so wrong so you just have to be you have to be strict on like do you really love people or not because just like we we use the parent child thing right like i do it because i love you i punish you because i love you I discipline because i love you okay well that doesn't feel nice it doesn't look good. It doesn't whatever. But in the end, you're like, wow, I'm really glad that they punished me. I'm really glad that my parents did this. I'm really glad that they were strict with this because I would have been blah, 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 blah. So, like, if I waver and, and I'm like, well, you know, like, I'm compromising here and I'm compromising there. Like, what good am I? Yeah. To the person, to God, to, to myself. Like, what's the point? For five seconds of comfortability, which really turns into, I don't know, maybe even 20 years of torture. You have no idea. The, there's another angle of this whole thing that really helps out in community, right? When I care about you enough to not care about where you've been, what you've been yeah. through, all of the ugly, right? right? So that goes with it. This whole philosophy works well on all sides, right? Yeah. I, I care, so I'm not going to care. Right, because when I say I care but I don't care, it's not me saying I don't care about your feelings or right. I don't care about how you react to me. I right. truly don't care about anything. I really don't. Like, that whole past thing, like, is true for me. Like, I don't care. I don't care what you've done. I yeah. could care less. You killed somebody? Great. Whatever. Like, you did this. You cheated on 10, but you've had 25 husbands? I don't care. What do I care? What? 
I'm not God. Did you repent? Okay, cool. <laughs> like, what? I don't care. I've done five million wrong things too, and they're no better, no worse than what you've done. I don't care. Let's focus on right now yeah. and move on. So there's people that care, but when they don't get to the I don't care part, they keep people locked and imprisoned in the past. Yeah, that's and then just evil. Ca- but when you care and choose to not care, then you're letting people have a present and a future. Not caring is freedom. It's freedom in always. It's freedom to love people. It's freedom to actually try to be like Jesus. It's freedom to forgive. It's freedom to just not dwell on the past. It's just complete freedom to not care. So uh, so now I get to play your role. Ready? If I was going to sum this up, I would say, if you want true freedom, <laughs> then you need to apply the principle of care but don't care. Yeah. Look at that. Pretty I'm much. Learning how to be you. There you go, seedlings. <laughs> Fantastic. Wrap it up. That's it. Oh, I did it. Yay. Andy did it. Care but don't care. People are going to think that somehow you became me today and I became you. Probably not. No, probably not. <laughs> All right, guys, we love you. Have a great week.